Hi, good morning. My name is Natalie Armstrong Moton. If you're new here, it's Marketing Monday. Every Monday we sit down together and talk about the various ways in which you can build a successful business for yourself. It's, you know, it's a lovely time. You and I, little cup of coffee. Today is just a coffee, cream, sugar. Mm. The basic ingredients to a really great start to not just your day, but your whole week. I'm glad to have you here with me. And today we want to talk a little bit about the role that patience plays in practice development. Well, it's a challenge for most of us that we don't see immediate gratification. And patience is absolutely necessary to building a successful practice. Today, I want to talk a little bit about that. I, I love English toffee, and that might seem off topic, but I promise you it's not. I love English toffee. It's simple to make, it's delicious, and I think it's the perfect analogy to marketing and growing your ADR practice. Here's why. English toffee has five basic ingredients that most of us have at our fingertips. Toffee is just sugar, water, butter, salt, and vanilla. Of course, when you're making English toffee, you'll also want to have a candy thermometer handy. For practice development, those five ingredients translate to networking, writing, speaking, training, social media, and the candy thermometer in this analogy is the analytics tools that you use to measure your success. Now, the thing about making toffee is that it requires patience. Building a practice also requires patience. For toffee, you combine all of the ingredients in the right amounts and stir consistently until you reach the hard boil point. Et voila, perfect and delicious hard candy. The thing is, if you're impatient, you either end up burning your toffee or you end up with soft caramels. Now, burning your batch of toffee is, you know, just tragic. And being impatient and taking your toffee off the stove too early will result in a pan of caramels. Now, I'm a fan of caramels too. They're soft and they're yummy, but they're not the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is hard toffee. And in building your practice, you want that hardness of toffee. And just like making hard toffee, building your practice is both an exercise in patience and exercising your stirring muscles. The first 10 minutes of stirring just doesn't show that much progress, but then the magic happens. And very quickly, your mixture turns from bubbling sugar into amazing toffee, hard, sweet, and delightful. And when you're building your practice, it takes a basic recipe, your strategy, a little bit of patience and the consistent efforts to see results. Practice development is just a simple mix of ingredients, networking, writing, speaking, training, social media, all applied in the right amounts over time, and using analytics to mark your successes. For us, the recipe, the strategy is pretty simple. You sit down and figure out in what portions you'll be promoting your practice using networking, that's the main ingredient, and you augment that uh, flavor, your, your activities, with writing, speaking, training, and social media. You want to be sure to utilize your preferred analytics tool to manipulate or stir your strategic recipe to the right temperature. And for us, that success, that, that, that hard boil point is more cases. Now, you've got all of the strategy, you've got all of the ingredients, you just need to add a massive amount of patience and keep stirring. And then bingo. That's a technical term in marketing. Bingo. The cumulative effect of your marketing efforts turns your slowly rolling boil of a practice into a full-blown success of hard tack toffee.
Without the recipe, I think that it's unlikely that most folks would make it to minute five, never mind minute 10, uh, but you're not most folks. And I happen to think that just knowing it can be done, just tasting that success makes it far more likely that you're going to stick it out and do it again. Because once you've set out to make a hard toffee or a successful practice, you'll want to repeat that delicious experience again and again. And I know that it might feel like a bit of a slog right now, but when the magic happens, you'll be happy with the results and you won't be thinking about those first nine minutes of burning arm muscles and unfulfilled goals. You'll be thinking about how sweet the success is that you're seeing and you'll want to repeat the recipe for those successes time after time after time. So I think, you know, it's important to recognize that often we assume that today's batch of caramels is good, it's great, it's yummy, and is the entire result, but it doesn't have to be. Keep at it and you'll get the English toffee that you were hoping for. You'll get the successful practice that you set out to make for yourself. That's the analogy that I came up with for today's Marketing Monday. I'm so glad that you could join, enjoying a hot cup of coffee and some thoughts about building a successful practice. If you've got a question, a concern, or a topic that you'd like for me to address in future videos, please let me know. Say hello in the comments. Tell me what your favorite candy is. Tell me what your favorite practice development tools or strategies are. I love the interaction that we have together. Well, that's it for me, Natalie Armstrong Moton, talking about hard toffee and practice development. All the patience in the world that it takes does pay off. Thanks very much for joining. Be good humans. Bye-bye.